Hello, Snack Pack. Welcome to Snack Chat Friday. I'm Allison, if you didn't know, but you probably do know that. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, hey, Grant is in the house. Grant is our moderator, and he does a great job, and I'm just so grateful to have him as part of the Travel Snacks crew. So welcome, Grant. Welcome, Rose. How are you doing? Um, oh no, the smoky air. Oh, the, oh my gosh. The air quality is 11. That's terrible. Is it like, I haven't, what's happening here? My hair's all over the place. I haven't really been keeping up on the, is it like still from fires? Are these new fires? Are those old fires that just keep going? Like what's happening? Because that seems like a very long time to be having like really poor air quality and fires if they're still going. So let me know. And yeah, it looks like you have your windows closed and the AC running. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, poor Jackie. I hope she's feeling better and hopefully this gets cleared up soon. Hey, Butterflights in the house. How are you? Hey, Grandma D, happy Friday to you as well. Uh, let's see. Oh, Rebecca's in the house. Hey, Rebecca and Kenny. Welcome, welcome. Kenny from Texas. How's everybody doing this evening? Um, it's going pretty good here in New York City, which is where I'm at, which I will be for the next, what, 10 days? I don't know how many days I still have left. I'll be here till the 24th. And thank you for the little heart emojis. I appreciate that um, for those that are clicking on those. Um, Gardener Earth Guy says, seriously, you should go to Coney Island. I will try. I have so many things on my list that I haven't even gotten to. Um, so I'll keep that in my mind of maybe things I should do. Um, awesome. A better flight. Uh, you like last week's topic. Um, if there's ever any topics that you guys want me to talk about, uh, just drop it in um, the comments here in the chat or even put it in the um, in the comment of any of my videos, especially of the recent videos. That way uh, I can see the comments and, you know, maybe future live chats. I can bring those topics back up. Hey, Tatiana from Florida. How are you? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Welcome. Um, Grant says, we still have old fires and new fires. We have a lot of forest here to burn. It all depends on the wind direction if the smoke moves in and out. Holy moly, that is nuts. I hope that clears up soon. Stay tuned, says mid 80s today in Seattle, hotter over the weekend. Oh my goodness. Beth, hey Beth, how are you? Better flight, take a look at some New York City YouTubers if you want tips to make the most of your New York City trip. So, um, I actually got together with a New York YouTuber. Um, if you guys don't know already um, or have art following already, um, you should check out Kels Acosta, K-E-L-S Acosta. Um, he does travel and food reviews, almost like travel snacks. Uh, and his editing is on point. He's got great content. So give him a follow. Um, so we met up this week and we didn't really like film or anything. We just hung out and it was kind of nice. Just Anytime I get together with another like content creator, it's really cool. And it's actually funny because anyone else that does YouTube like full time, all you end up really talking about is YouTube, like your channel and what you're doing. And it's it's almost like being around the water cooler at a job. So it was really fun. And he took me to this place called Waffles and Dings. And it's spelled uh, D-I-N-G-E-S. And I guess the dings are like the little like toppings that they put on them but basically um they have like waffles and you could put like toppings on it but um we got i forget what it was called but it was like we each got one it was like a like a, a cup like a cup that you would put ice cream in but it had little like waffle strips uh biscoff ice cream um and then biscoff cookie and then whipped cream and chocolate drizzle or caramel drizzle it was phenomenal so good um, so we had that and then we just walked around Central Park. So that was fun. Um, there's a lot of things that I would love to go check out, but I've been working on some stuff um, in the background. And so I haven't really been out as much as I'd like to. Um, plus, you know, I am taking care of the dogs and stuff. So anyway, 
Um, it's been good. I'm really happy that I'm here. I'm really grateful for the things that I've seen and, and been able to go do and stuff like that. Lots of places I've been eating and all the cool things. Um, but there has been a couple days that it's been like just totally storming, like rainy. Like I woke up this morning and it was like thunder central. And then it was just like pouring rain. <clears throat> so, you know, it's been, it's been kind of nice just to like kick back and relax. So it's been good. Um, let's see. Hey, grandma D says, I was totally loving those cookies. Have you tried any other New York treats? Um, I've had pizza from another pizza spot. I went to this other bakery and had their cookie and it was a, um, it was a like, oh, I forget what it's called. Like, a, I think it was a butterscotch cookie, but what they did is they, you know, those Ferrer Rocher, like circle candies are like, you know, they're like a chocolate with like a, like crackle in it. I guess what they did is they baked one of those inside the cookie. So it was like all melty inside. And that was pretty good. Um, that cookie was like $5 though. Just one cookie. I was like, bro, chill. So I haven't had like the most treats. Um, what else? I'm drawing a blank of like what else I've done, but basically I haven't done like the most, I was going to go to, um, so this is funny and don't throw no hate on me. Okay. I'm just going to tell you the story, but my mom, she was like, Oh, like Fox news. They're having <coughs> their summer concert series at the Fox news station, um, which is over by, um, I think Rockefeller center. And so I was thinking about going there this morning. I drink some water. But first of all, the concert was starting at like 6 a.m. It was going from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern time. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go do it. And then this morning I was like, absolutely not. That is too early. I, uh, I'm, I don't know. I'm, that's too early for me. Cause I would have had to take the subway over there and I was just like too tired. And plus it was, like I said, I woke up to like massive thunder and rain and I was like, do I really want to like do this whole situation just to go see a like concert? I mean, maybe if I was like 15 years younger, I might've, but I was like, it's really not that serious. So I slept in when I say slept in, I slept in till like eight o'clock, which is pretty sleeping in for me. So I didn't do that, but uh, I still want to get to times square. I'm still going to go to the high line. I think, um, and maybe I will try to go to Coney Island. That sounds fun. Some other people told me to check out Ellis Island and the and Roosevelt Island. There's just so many things, so many things, so many things, you know. Um, but I only have so much time. So this won't be the last time I come to New York. So I'll just do as much as I can. Um, oh, Beth says, you're in Illinois. Oh, awesome. Hey, Journey, how are you? Cheryl's in the house. Hi, Cheryl. Um, yes, I am having a great Friday. I hope you're having a great Friday as well. Um, Grant says, speaking of less than a hundred subscribers until 75 K. Ooh, last time I checked, it was like, we were like 250 subscribers short of 75 K. So that's actually pretty good because ever since I've been out of the van, the snack pack numbers subscribers has dipped. So it's kind of nice to see more people are still joining. So that's exciting. Um, we're going to have to do something fun and festive for seven for 75K. I wonder if it's going to happen while I'm here or when I'm back in Vegas. So I'll have to think of something. So if you guys have any ideas of what we should do for 75K, let me know. Um, Yes, if you guys are on this live stream, please throw a like on it. That lets YouTube know that you like it. And you can hit the little emoji heart button down there. And, you know, that is a new thing that YouTube just put on recently. So that's pretty cool as well. So thank you guys for the ones that have already hit the like. Hey, Quirky, how are you? Thank you, Tatiana. Oh, Blind Views coming in with the super chat. Enjoying your content. Get a New York slice. Thank you so much. Oh, and I also, for those last week that um, sent in a donation, um, I wanted to let you know that I finally did go to Starbucks because of your donation. Let me 
get the picture here. And I got a Starbucks. So thank you guys for the donation. I appreciate it so, so much. It does go a long way uh, in helping me make the content because this food out here is expensive. Like I said in that, in that last video, I'm not kidding. I bought like a regular pack of tortillas, like not the even big burrito size, just like the little, like whatever basic tortillas. And it was like $7. I was like, what is happening? So, tortillas. No, that was crazy. So thank you blind views so, so much uh, for your donation. And let me give you a shout out. Um, let me turn this on. Ah. Oh man. I don't know why they started putting ads here, but they never used to. So I'm gonna have to look into that. But let's give you, oh, let's give you a nice. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate it very much. Um, YouTube is currently showing 74.9. Oh, let me see. Oh, I can't see it on my end right now. Wait, let's see. Let me see. Oh, 74, 925. We're actually only 75 people away. So, okay. So this is going faster than I thought. So we should actually hit uh, 75K probably in the next day or so if it's going this fast because, shoot, that's, that's faster than I thought. So probably by next Friday when we have our live stream, maybe we should try to do something. So if you have any ideas, let me know. Um, the least of these gluten-free snacking here, but need low carb too. Mm, okay. Okay. I I have seen out here in New York, I have seen like lots of gluten-free options and lots of um, like carb friendly things and like um, vegan things. Like I think it's pretty um, like in terms of food, I think it's like the restaurants try to consider other dietary needs. So I appreciate that. Um, but it doesn't seem like it sacrifices on like the offerings or the taste or whatever. Um, so yeah, that sounds awesome. 75 K snack extravaganza. We can do another snack snack extravaganza, but what are we going to do? Just eat snacks. I think we should maybe bring somebody on, bring, bring people, bring people on. I don't know. Is that boring? I don't, I don't know. I don't really know. I don't know who I'd bring on, but um, yeah, I'll have to think on this. Hey, Zechariah, I'm good. Oh, you know what else? Um, oh, you know what? So recently YouTube has allowed on live streams for the ads to play. Um, and that helps, like helps me be able to earn some extra income. So if you are getting ads during this live stream, I don't know if I can even see that. Um, but it's a skippable ad. So if you get an ad during this, it's like the five second skip. So I am I am kind of apologizing, but also not apologizing because, you know, a girl's got to make a living out here in these streets. <laughs> so, and it's, the ad's only five seconds. Um, Hey, Amy, Millie, hey. Um, oh, yeah, that's a good point, too. You can get an ad blocker. Um, so that's another way. Or if, and I'm not saying that you need to do this, but um, another way is, like, if you are, an, like, a, a, a person that goes on YouTube a lot and watches a lot of content, um, YouTube Premium, I, I don't know how much it is, like 12 bucks a month. I'm not really sure. Um, if you get YouTube Premium, there's no ads on anybody's video. So that's another way to go. If you are a person that goes on YouTube a lot, I've actually been thinking about getting YouTube premium for myself because for the longest time, like I don't spend a lot of time on YouTube, but I've been spending way more time on YouTube um, than like I've been trying to cut back on um, like Netflix and Hulu and all these extra things. So um I've been thinking, or I've been spending more time on YouTube. So now I'm thinking about getting YouTube premium. So that's another way for you to not have ads. So that might be a way to go if, you know, if you are a person that loves to watch a lot of YouTubes. 
Um, hey, John Quinn, how are you? Oh, better flight. That's a good idea. Bring on Tim virtually. That'd be fun. Um, maybe I can bring on a variety of people. Um, that might be fun. Um, oh, thank you, Amy. Yes, please hit the like button if you're on this live stream. Hey, Jim from Amarillo. Rebecca. Okay, so you got the ads at the beginning. Okay. Millie says, yes, bring on Tim and the snacks. Awesome. That might be a thing. Hey, Skipper, how are you? Uh, the least of these YouTube premium is so worth it. Uh, is it is $17? Shoot, they've increased their price. But, I mean, like I said, you know, if you're the type of person that's going to watch a lot of it, then it is worth it to get it. And plus they have like a, some months free at the beginning and I don't know, whatever. There's all these different things. Hey, Z.E., how are you? Uh, Jim says, not knowing that you get paid for the ads, they don't bother me anymore. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, Johnson, bang in. Oh, thanks. Um, Grant says, bring on Ivana, you two together, crack me up. Thanks. Uh, Ivana would probably come on, um, even though she's in Vegas right now and I'm in New York. But I could do, like, I still have StreamYard, so that would be the only downfall is that we would have to do it on StreamYard. Actually, Wait a minute. YouTube does now have um, the option to bring on guests. I've just not done it yet. So I'd have to look into that. Um, I'll have to look into that. So maybe if I can bring them on directly on YouTube, uh, that'd be fun. So um, maybe Ivana can pop on. Maybe we'll just have like a snack extravaganza where we have like different guests just come on for a few minutes at a time. That could be fun. Um, just like a variety, like a variety snack extravaganza. And then each person can bring a snack. Oh, this is shaping up and that'd be cool. So yeah, let's, let me, um, let me think about this. That's, those are good ideas. Yeah. Variety show. Yes. Um, Hey, but easy. Um, yeah, bring Grant. I was thinking about bringing Grant and Jackie back on again. So, you know, Grant, get ready. <laughs> Hey, Jay Straw. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Skipper. I'm great. Thanks for asking. Hope you're good. I am good too. Yeah. Um, it's been like, uh, it's been an interesting week. Um, it feels like it went by so fast this week. And, um, you know, I actually had to do my laundry this week. And even though this is like a grand, awesome place like obviously with an awesome view and like a doorman and all these things and I feel like so high class um there's no laundry in the unit so I had to go down um to the laundry room and do my laundry this week so that was interesting but it reminded me of the old days when I was in my van and I would be trying to find a laundromat and do my laundry in the machines and it's interesting because you know it's like Part of me like misses being in my van and in a sense of like just driving around, going wherever at any time. But then part of me enjoys not having some of those str like stresses. Um, so it's just it's just interesting. It's just been an interesting transition. So, yeah, I don't know. Grant, <laughs> get ready. Cat Mac, hey, yes, I am still in New York. It's been great. Hey, Tracy, how are you? How's it going? Um, yeah, time does fly, yeah. Hey, Michelle, how are you? Will you miss New York when you have to leave? Um, I will definitely miss New York. I love it here, um, excuse me. Um, but, you know, if we're honest, and we always are on the snack pack, uh, you know, I, love it here. But again, and this is like, I don't know if people consider this a complaint or not, but this is just my real deal, real, real life talking. It's like, I'm still by myself. So I just, I'm at that point in life where I, I just want to be around other people. I want to experience things with other people. I want to laugh and joke around and have meals together. And, you know, this experience has been amazing and I would do it again in a heartbeat. And, you know, being with the dogs, it's been great. But, like, there's no replacement for human contact. So it would be, like, extra special if, you know, my one of my friends was here or, like, 
you know, when my friends get back from their trip, um, we'll have one day, which is the day that I fly back, but we'll have like that morning to hang out. So that's kind of cool. Um, but I say that like any future travels, you know, I mean, when I can, I want to do it with other people or meet up with other people. So I will miss New York. I really will miss like just you know, walking downstairs and whatever I need, I could just walk and go get it. I really enjoy that. I, I enjoy being around other people, you know, but I think it's going to be great to go back to Vegas and, you know, hang out with my friend and roommate Ivana and, you know, we'll be doing some fun things. And, um, yeah, I mean, there's, and then I have to go to California, um, like probably like the week I get back because I need to go, back to the doctor for some follow-ups. So there's still quite a few things that I am going to be doing like traveling wise. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'll miss it, but there's also things to look forward to. So that's exciting. Um, going okay apart from my ankle, which is hurting. Oh no, I hope your ankle gets better. Yes, Jim, life is funner with friends, that's for sure. Oh, an old injury. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Well, there's not too much else to report. So um, the only one good thing that I wanted to say is like, based on last week's um, chat, uh, I got rid of will you press the button um, off my phone, the app, because it's for those that don't know, it was like a little game that was on my phone, an app that was called, will you press the button? And it would have like, almost like a, would you rather, but a little bit different, like, you know, it have a statement and then it's like, but you know, this, another statement. And then you would say if you were going to press the button, but I think they were written by just regular people, the questions and like it appeared like it was like from teenagers or kids being just like silly. So the more questions I got into it, the more I was like, some of these are super inappropriate. Some of them are just actually stupid. Some of them don't make sense. So like last week I went on a deep dive and look, I got all these, would you rather apps? So within each of these apps is a lot of, would you rather questions, which for those that have been around a long time, will already know this, but when we used to do live streams, we would always almost do like half of the time talking and then the other half doing games. So I want to kind of get back to doing more games instead of me just flapping my gums the whole time in terms of just like blah, blah, blah. You know, I want to keep it lighthearted. And I think the games give you guys a chance to interact and I get to know more about you from your answers. And then you guys can chat in between you and you know, it's, I think it's very fun. So, um, so yeah, so I thought we would do that today and let me just read these last couple comments and then we'll get on popping with these games. Um, Tracy says, I got run over by a car about 20 years ago, every now and then just further. Oh my goodness. That's terrible. Um, I hope it, I hope it unflares soon. <laughs> Hey, Sania, how are you? Sania is my cousin. Um, we'd be very, yes, I will be returning to Vegas on the 24th. So I'll be there um, that week. Rose says, I think they were written by third graders. Yeah, I think so. Some of the questions were dumb. I came prepared. Yes, I did. Hey, Noah, are you going to do something with Timothy Ward soon? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, you never know. I'm going to talk to him and see if he wants to maybe pop on next Friday, um, you know, and maybe we can have a few different guests. Um, maybe I'll try to get some surprise guests. So that seems fun. And thank you guys for the heart the little emojis. I see you guys popping the hearts on there. So I appreciate that. It's okay. I'm still alive. So it wasn't all bad. I mean, that's, that's fair. That's a good silver lining. Um, hey, out in the heat from Las Vegas, pretty hot these days. Enjoy the remaining days in New York. That's what I heard. I heard it's blazing. So, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, Sania, let me know. Let me know. All right, so pop up a, a thumbs up emoji if you guys are ready for these games because I'm ready to get it popping. Plus, this is fun, and 
you know, like I, I have, um, it looks like 14 different apps for the Would You Rather, the apps. So we'll see which ones are great. And there might be a lot of repeat questions. So I'll have to like dig through these. But I think if there's 14 apps, I'm sure there's hundreds of questions. So hopefully we won't run out. And if we've done some of these before, then please forgive me. But it's been years as since we've been doing these live streams. So I can't remember all the you know, all the would you rathers we've ever done, but you know, people come and go on this channel. So it's kind of new for everybody anyways. So, uh, all right. Lots of thumbs ups. Everyone's ready to go. All right. So basically the way this works is this first app has already been sitting on loading way too long. So I'm gonna have to just come back to this one. Um, so the way it works is would you rather is a classic game so I'll ask you a question and just basic, like, would you rather eat a carrot or eat a green bean? You know, and so then you just post in what you would rather. And we kind of get a consensus. Um, and we used to do it where after you made your guess for yourself or not guess, but once you made your statement for yourself, then you would guess what you think I will pick. So let me know if you just want to, you know, just answer it or if you guys want to guess what I would pick. Let me know which one would you, would you rather? That's a, that's a, would you rather for your, would you rather? Let me know. It's not going to hurt my feelings either way, but you know, there, there was a time when we did that. And so some people would, you know, be like, oh, I'm going to guess all of Allison's answers, right. Or, you know, whatever. So, um, there could be like a little competition within the chat as well. Hey, daily with Deb. How are you? Hey, Lisa. How's it going? Okay, let me reopen this. Would you rather? If this one doesn't open in like 10 seconds, I'm gonna move on to the next app. All right, well. Okay, so you guys wanna do it um, that way, okay. Um, I'm good, Lisa, thank you. Thank you for asking. All right, we're gonna move on to the second one. Um, all right. So we're, we're coming on strong with this first one. Um, answer guess eight notorious inquisitors. Uh, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this is an interesting one. Okay. So here we go. Would you rather have a missing finger or have two extra fingers. So I guess that would mean you would have, you know, 12. So you'd have six fingers and six fingers on each hand. Or maybe it's, you know, two extra fingers on one hand. It doesn't specify. So either way, just have a thing. So either way, you would have two extra fingers. So would you rather have one missing finger? or two extra fingers. Well, which, which one, which one? And then once you guess for yourself, what do you think I will choose? And I don't know at this point, so I got to think about that. All right. So we're coming in strong with better flight journey and Rebecca and Grant, all of every, all those uh, people say two extra fingers. Michelle's saying a missing finger, at least of these two extra and have them removed. Oh, Okay. Okay. I don't know if that's allowed in the hypotheticals, but listen, I, I mean, I appreciate your resourcefulness. Uh, Lisa says two extra fingers. Rose says two extra might make arting easier. Oh, that's cool. And oh, oh yeah. And the other thing about the would you rather is, is like, you can feel free to like give your reasoning why you're choosing what you're choosing, because it's very interesting to, to hear the thought process of everyone. Like, why would you choose that or that, you know? Um, Tatiana says two extra, uh, Sheree and, uh, and Rebecca says missing finger. Okay. Sean says missing. Amy says two extra as long as they work. Um, Kat says extra. Noah says missing finger. I'll just get a prosthetic one instead. I think, and better flight says, I think you will also choose two extra fingers. Uh, extra fingers, my answer and my guess and I guess what you'll pick. Um, Millie says two extra. Tracy says two extra. And I think you would also want two extra. 
Rebecca says, think how much better you can play musical instruments. Oh, that's a good point. That's solid. Lisa thinks I'm going to pick an, a missing finger. Skipper says, ew, I don't like this question. <laughs> Grant says, missing a finger would make it harder to play guitar if it were on my left hand. That's a solid point. That's a solid point. Um, let's see. Butterfly, I think two extra fingers will be more useful in your life than one missing finger. Michelle says you, uh, missing finger since two extra fingers would attract attention. It's a solid point. Trace says, I choose two extra because losing a finger would take too long to adjust. I would think, I mean, if this is just going to be like random, like you're already living your life and then all of a sudden you're either missing a finger or got two extra fingers just grown on you. I think either way it's going to be hard to adjust. I just like wonder like if you have extra fingers, like, is it just like, you know, like you just have an extra coming out, you know, or like an extra. And so like when you do this, does your new fingers just do this or is one just like out in the wind, you know? And then it's just like, like if it's functioning, so this is the hard part. Are they functioning? I think they would be functioning, you know, because I mean, if you just had two random just fingers just on your hand, that's weird. I don't know. I don't know what my guess is. Two extra is my guess is Rose. Uh, Grant, you make me think of Jerry Garcia. He was missing fingers. Grandma D, two extra eyes so quilt they would help. Oh. Oh, an ad just popped up. See, I don't see that on my end. I don't see the ad. That's interesting. Um, Sean says, missing finger because I lost I lost the use of my left hand and arm due to stroke. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, just watch the ads all the way through. Oh, thank you, Tatiana. Um, Kat says, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Michelle says, no gloves would be available. Oh. That's a fair point. That's a Princess Bride reference. Uh, I've seen Princess Bride like so long ago, but I forgot it. I should probably watch that again. Jim says, if they didn't function, it would I wouldn't want them. Okay, Rose had an ad. So I wonder if you guys all had the ad at the same time so that when you come back, it starts you off at the same point. Like, are you guys behind now or are you caught up with what I just said? I presume they were functional fingers. I would think they're functional. I would think so. I would think so. Uh, he played very well. I never noticed until someone mentioned it to me. Uh, ZE says two extra fingers. Let's see. This is a solid question. I, I'm going to go with two extra fingers. So whoever said I would say two extra fingers. Okay, here's why. Because as somebody said, you know, Either, like I said, you know, either scenario you're going to have to learn, but as somebody else said, losing a finger when you've already had all your fingers, I think is a harder curve to get past because even if you have a prosthetic, you know, I think the reason that it tipped me over the scale to have two fingers is because I was imagining like having a prosthetic where, you know, you have the, like, it's almost like that leather thing, hand, like glove and it like goes on you and then you have the finger, but then like, you got to take it off and put it back on. And like, what if like you're washing the dishes and water gets in like the little thing or on your glove and like food gets on it and it gets dirty. And then like, <sighs> that seems like a hassle. Like that seems like it would be a harder thing to get over. And I don't, these are questions from the would you rather game. Okay. So I didn't invent this. So I'm not being insensitive to anybody. Cause I do know in the world, there are people that are missing digits off their fingers, just off their fingers, off their hands. So this is not me putting anyone down or being like too bad for you. I'm just saying, according to this game, if I had to choose, I would just go with the two extra fingers and I would just have to get used to it. So that's, that's my answer. Um, Journey said, I had an ad and had no idea what you were saying. <laughs> uh, grandma said, I think Allison would say missing finger. Oh, sorry. Um, I don't know if 
I'm behind or not. We miss what you say during the ads. Oh, you do. Grant said two extra. Um, if you guys are, um, cause I don't know how many ads there are. Like I don't get to choose how many, I didn't, I don't think I have the option to choose how many ads come through. I think YouTube chooses that. But if you're hearing me right now, see if you can fast forward or scrub through this live stream to see if you can get to the end to see if you can get to current. And so I'll talk a little slower so that we can do that. Um, I did not get the ad, maybe my ad blocker, probably. Uh, lives are caught up unless the viewer pauses it. Oh, okay. Okay, so Tracy, you have <clears throat> the YouTube premium. Um, would you have to pay extra for, oh no, that's funny. That's funny. I, yeah, if you, well, that's, a pedicure is for your feet, bro. So you'd, you'd be getting a manicure. That'd be weird if you had, if you had 12 toes though. Yeah. I wonder if you went to go get a manicure and you're like, ha ha, like I have 12 fingers. No, they, they can't charge you extra, but they're like, this is more work for me. Rose says, I guessed right. Does it affect, uh, if you, we have ad blocker. I always wondered that. I think if you have an ad blocker that it doesn't allow people to get paid for watching the ads because you don't see the ads. So, you know, but I know a lot of people that have it. So it's just the name of the game. I know Grant, that's the first person I thought of when I was, that's why I was like, we used to do like competitions and stuff. So we had um, another person that was a snack packer named Fake Freedom, Barbara, and she was with us for a long time. But, um, you know, at a certain point, she had sent me an email or a comment saying that she had been diagnosed with cancer and that she was at the last stages. So I don't know, you know, obviously I wasn't like, Oh, keep us posted because like, you know, it was pretty sad, just her message. So, um, that was what, I don't know, Grant, if you know when that was like at least a year ago, for sure, like maybe a year and a half. So, <clears throat> so we honor Barbara fake freedom with these, uh, going back to the, uh, would you rathers. So, yeah, that is, that makes me feel sad. Um, Grandma D, did you see The Handmaid's Tale? That's what I was thinking of. That's why I had it in my head. Miss Waterford got her pinky cut off and her Mar Martha made her one of those leather fake fingers. That's, that's what I had in my head. That's where I was like, I've seen this before. So yeah, that's what I was thinking of. So thank you for reminding me of that. See, two extra fingers because I can't live with a missing, without a, with a missing finger. Uh, okay, uh, Grant has the ad blocker. Um, okay. Yeah. I refreshed the page. I don't see the ads. Okay. How would you choose which is the middle finger? It's a really good point. It's a really good point. Um, <laughs> uh, if they don't charge more for the manicure, they need a bigger tip. Yes. Yeah. Like a year and a half ago. I think so. Yeah. So rest in peace, Barbara. Um, Hey quirky. Yes. I see your, uh, avatar. I don't see you personally, but I do see your name. All right, so that was a pretty good, you know, first would you rather off this app. So let's see, how do I move on to the next one? Oh, okay. Oh, it oh, it's cool because it tells you like the other one does. It said that, wait. It said that 45% of the voters chose to have a missing finger and 55% of the people chose two extra fingers. And it even breaks it down into like men and women and other, okay. But um, men, men, more men voted, wait, more men voted for two fingers than women did. So that's, that's kind of interesting. Um, <clears throat> yeah, rest in peace, Barbara, yes, definitely. Uh, yes, your middle finger is the longest. So I guess you would still maybe keep the same middle finger. Hey, Randy, how are you? All right, so let's go with the next question. All right, here, here's a basic one. Here's a basic one. Thank you guys for the heart emojis. I appreciate it. All right, so the next one is, would you rather wear a smartwatch? So I guess like an Apple watch or like, I don't know what any other kind of smartwatch is because 
I'm not up on that. Or an analog watch. This is just a basic one. But would you rather wear a smart watch or an analog watch? I mean, this is probably could be real life. Like, what do you wear? A smart watch or an analog watch? Um, you guys can guess. And then you can guess what you think I'll say. I already know my answer for this. I already know. I already know. <clears throat> All right. Michelle says smartwatch. Quirky says smartwatch. Better flight's going with analog. I don't like too much technology. Uh, Rebecca's going with smart. I wear a Garmin. Oh, yeah. I forgot about Garmin. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, Rebecca says, I don't want to be tracked. Aren't you tracked already on, like, do you have an I, like an iPhone or an Android? Because I think, I think no matter what, you're getting tracked. Or if you don't have a phone, like a smartphone, if you have one of those um, like Alexas or Echo Dots or Google Home Play thingies, they're definitely listening. They're definitely listening. Amy and Grant says smartwatch. Grant says I'm wearing a Samsung S3 right now. Ooh, you're so, so fancy. Um, Sheree, smartwatch. Oh, Rose, I wear my daddy's old Timex. That's awesome. Jim says, I don't wear watches, and I think you'd wear an analog. ZE says, analog. Michelle says, uh, smartwatch. Um, Rebecca says, I turn off location. Okay, that's good. Um, all cell phones are trapped, yes. Noah says, analog. It's just timeless and way more classy and authentic. The least of these, pings. Yeah, pings. A better flight. I think you'd say smartwatch, though. All right. Tracy says, no smartwatch, just a normal one. Okay, awesome. Sean says, I like the OG analog watch, just like a piece of jewelry for a man. Love it. A, uh, eight Notorious Analog, you smartwatch. Tatiana says, analog. And Millie says, smartwatch. If I could justify the expense, I would buy one. Okay, that's good. All right. Put in your last, um, your last choices, and then I'll tell you what, um, what I would say. Rose says, I think you're a smartwatch lady. Interesting, interesting. All right, five more seconds, five more seconds. Nancy says, smartwatch, I wear a Core 2.0. I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's awesome. Um, that sounds fancy. Um, Tracy says, I think you're analog. Kat says, no watch, get, get potato chips dust on it. <laughs> that sounds like me. Um, ZE, you seem like a smartwatch. All right, uh, kind of person. All right. So here's my little side tangent, okay, when it comes to watches. First of all, I don't, wait, Grant says you don't wear, you won't wear either just like you do now. See, this is, this is what Grant knows me. He, he's on the right path with this. Skipper, Skipper says the kids these days can't read the old fashioned clock. That's true. All right. So here's my little side thing that I always say is like, I will probably never, and you know, I, I don't like to say the word never, but I will probably never wear or own a watch because time is ticking and time is so precious. I don't ever want to see time ticking away. I don't ever want to look down and be like seeing it. So, but in all fairness to play this game, that's why I won't have a clock on my, I'll never have a clock on my wall, like the ticking clock. Because it's like, I never want to wish away time. I never want to like see time going, slipping away. I value my time here on earth. So, um, but in all fairness, because we're playing the game and I, you know, want to participate, I would say that I would pick a smartwatch. Okay. Let me, let me say this first. The idea of an analog is more appealing to me because of the look at the classiness of it. So if it came down to looks, I would choose the analog, but for this would you rather, I'm going to pick a smartwatch. And the reason is because it can do other things besides just tell time. And you can set it to like where it's just like your phone. Like my phone is, you know, well, it lit up when I picked it up. But, you know, it's black, like a black screen. So I don't have to look at the time going by just like on the phone. You know, so that's the only reason that I would pick the smartwatch. And, you know, it could come in handy for other things. So that's the only reason that I would pick smartwatch, but I never want to have a watch for that reason, because I don't ever want to like 
you know, I want to always value the time that I have here. Um, are you a watch killer? I don't know if I'm a watch killer. I'm just not a watch haver. Too hot for a watch. Phoenix here. Oh, man. Totally. I never wear a watch because if I'm late, I'd have no excuse. It's a good point. Subdue. Light. Better Flight said, guessed it. Tracy said, oh, I don't have a clock on my wall and only wear a watch out, not in my home. Skipper says, interesting. Quirky. Uh, it's 7 to 45 Eastern. Yes, indeed. Um, I like multifunctional products, too. That's a good point. Um, Rebecca says, I use mine to track my fitness activities. See, that's great. I used to have one of those, um, Fitbits. Um, I don't, I don't support that company because I had five or six Fitbits and they all broke like pretty quickly or like they were really good about like when I let them know that it was broken, they're like, okay, we'll send you a replacement, but they send me a refurbished one and that was crap. And like they kept sending me refurbished ones and they were off by the steps by like a lot or they just, it just didn't work or it didn't charge. So Fitbit can suck it. I don't know if they've improved by now, but that was like a few years ago. Um, but I did like the aspect of having that because right now, like I just use the steps app on my phone to like track my steps, but that's not always accurate because I don't always have my phone, but um, I love that idea of having that. Uh, Skipper said, I guess right for the reason you said yes. Sean says, smart watches are good for safety, though, like heart rates. Oh, that's good, too. Butterfly, you never wear a watch either. I think it'll be uncomfortable on my wrists. Uh, oh, you never wear a watch. Yeah, exactly. And also, yeah, like you're saying, it's in a hot climate. It's like hot and sticky, and I just don't like that feeling on my arm. So that's the reason. I. Those are the reasons. I don't even want to wear a watch. But whatever. Okay, so it looks like. Oh, okay. So this is interesting. Um, 77% of people said that they would choose the smartwatch. That's a high number. And 23 said they would choose an analog. Let's see. Yeah. That's a big jump. So over 75% of people said they would choose the smartwatch. That's interesting to me because, you know, it's like the times have changed because lots of people used to really go for the analogs. Um, they are classic. They look nice. Um, Noah says, I think some of them can even measure your blood pressure. Yeah, I think so. Um, but if it's pretty, uh, pretty expected results. Guess I'm part of the 23%. Um, Daily with Deb says, no watch for me. My phone's always in my hand. Rose says, I thought about the smartwatch for the health apps. Yeah. I think that's that's a benefit for sure. All right, let's do another one. Um, wait, what? I don't even know what this means. I think this question is, I think what they're trying to say is, okay, oh, uh, wait, technology is taking over the world. I mean, that's true. Um, okay, so I think what this question is saying, it. I'll read it the way it's worded, but I think they're trying to say something else. But it says, not to work and receive average salary or work and earn two times the average salary. So are they saying you would not work, but you'd receive free money, like not to work and receive an average salary. So an average salary, I don't know what that is. I think that's different in different states. Or you work and you earn two times the average salary. So what is the average salary? Let's see. I mean, this could be different for every country. Average salary, I'm just gonna say US. Average salary in the US in 2021 was 58,000. So that'd be like 120,000 if you're doubling that. Or you could just not work and earn $58,000. 
let's see what it is in Canada. Um, it's higher in Canada. It it says, it says, wait. The average salary for a single person in Canada is sixty-eight thousand four hundred in twenty twenty-three. Is that does that seem right, Canadians? Let me see for U.S. in twenty twenty-three. Okay, wait. Okay, so take that back because the one I had was for twenty twenty-one. So for it says for twenty twenty-three. The average U.S. salary per month is six thousand two hundred twenty-eight, or for the year is seventy-four thousand seven hundred and thirty-eight. So, what's seventy? That's like one hundred and fifty. That's almost one hundred fifty thousand dollars for working, or seventy-five, seventy-four thousand. So let's just let's just make it even. Let's just say like you can either get seventy thousand dollars and not work, or one hundred and forty thousand and work. What would you rather? What would you rather? Okay, so do, 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 do. Rebecca says work and earn two times. Allison work and, uh, and get two times. Skipper and Amy says work and get double. Better flight depends on the job. If I like the job or not, but generally I would work and earn two times the salary. Not working would get boring. Rose says, I haven't been able to work in almost three years. Um, Eight Notorious says, earn and just travel. Um, and, uh, and haven't had an income in that time either. Um, Rebecca says, no work, travel. Um, Grant says, that sounds about right for the income. Um, ZE says, not work and earn 58000 Tracy says, ooh, I would not work but do volunteer stuff to keep busy. That's a good point. Uh, Skipper says, oh, I like the travel idea. Noah says, Canada is more expensive, so it kind of evens out. Um, Rose says, right now, I'd say no work. I'm old. I want to buy a trike and play with my friends. I love that. The easy as not work. Tracy says, even it, even here, the average is like 50000 Okay. Grant says, if I can continue to work remotely, sign me up. I'll take two times the salary. Better flight. You would choose... Uh, the not working option and get average salary, in my opinion, given your lifestyle. Uh, subdue light, then a question, would there be rules for the average salary or complete independence with two times? Like what rules? Like what rules? Um, Michelle says work and earn two times. Tatiana says not work and travel. Kat says depends on the job. I'd work for a dream job. Yeah. See, this is a hard one because I mean, we're, this is it's hot in here. Um, this is a total hypothetical game, you know what I'm saying? So it's, you don't get all the details. So, you know, you know, it is pretty alluring to make a double, but like if the job sucks it, or if you have to work like 80 hours a week, no, like it's, it's a no for me. But if it was like, a good regular job, just working a standard 40 hours a week, then maybe, but let's see, let's see what else you guys are saying. Um, Noah says 58 and not work, engage in gig economy when it falls, when it falls for it. Okay. Rose says with that income, I could build my resource center. That would be a full-time job. Awesome. Um, when it calls for, okay. Um, it also doesn't say you can't switch jobs if you don't like it. That's a solid point too. So I'm going to say that I've lived on so little in my life that I would choose the no working option because I would just take that money and I would travel. And, you know, you could do, see, I don't know if the, like the rules of the game, like, could you have a side hustle or like, could you do, like you said, do the volunteer work or do something rewarding, you know, because if you're, if your bills are paid, like I think with, well, shoot, like depending, like in today's economy, if it's like 58,000, it's, you know, these rents are atrocious, but like if it's 75,000, you know, you still got to pay rent or a mortgage or whatever. But 
I think you could still have a good situation going, you know, and you could travel. So I would say I'm going to go with the not working and just getting the money. So, I mean, this is to say if the money is just coming from random sky, you know, I'm not saying like take it from other people because that's not what this game says. It just says you're going to get, you know, free money basically. But if it's going to be taking from other people, then no, I wouldn't do that. Uh, so do like just in the sense if the average free salary had certain requirements, uh, whereas uh, whereas working you your two times, you may have more freedom, et cetera. But I'm just thinking deeper into the question. Oh, no, it's all good. I love it. I love to hear all the little ins and outs. Uh, Kat says, I think you would travel and gather snacks. I mean, it sounds it's like sounds great to me. All right. So let's do one more because we're almost at the top of the hour. Oh, wait, first let's. Uh, Okay, so, oh, this is interesting. So 28% of the people said they would not work and receive an average salary. And 72% said they would work and earn two times the average salary. So that's interesting. That's interesting. I could see it both ways. Like I could see like changing my mind and being like, you know what, I'll just take the job and work and make a lot of money. Like now I kind of almost want to change my answer because like I would work for like five years and just stack my cash and invest. I don't know how long it would take to like get a good stockpile. Anyways, I already chose, so I'm not going to go back on my thing, but I'm just saying it makes sense. It makes sense. But I think I'm just tired and that's why I'm like, listen, I just like don't want to have to work, but whatever. So we're going to do one more and then we're going to wrap it up. And then I got to think about, you know, this week figuring out next Friday's snack extravaganza because it's going to be fun. Um, let's see. Daily with Deb says no work. Grant says YouTube is your job. Imagine making two times for doing what you do. I mean, if that, if, 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 if I got paid two times for this job, sure. Yes, that I would do it. I would sign, sign me up, sign me up. I was just thinking more of like corporate in my mind. I was thinking corporate. And I think the reason is because I've been watching the old show suits, like the, the like lawyer show with all the corporate stuff. And I just like, look at all the hard work that they do when they're working until like 10 at night. And I'm just thinking, no, oh, bro, like I, I don't care how much I'm getting paid. I'm not working until no 10 at night. Like that's, you know, and I, I mean, they get in there at like seven 30 or eight in the morning and they're working like late nights and all these things. I'm like, bro, I'm too tired for that. No, I'm not. I don't want a corporate job, even if it's making double the salary, but like, if it's something that you enjoy, then I will for sure change my answer, you know, cause I don't mind working. It's just like, I wouldn't want to work like, you know, like, a crazy person where you're just always at work. No, I don't, I don't want that. So good point. Um, now that's a plan stack cash. Um, I don't, I don't want to bang on a drum all day. Did that for 28 years. Jim says the world would be in trouble if everyone was getting paid, but no one was working. I mean, that's, that's a solid point. All right. So, Oh, this is an interesting one. I, this is, this is interesting. All right, so the next question and the final question for today is, would you rather listen to every musician except your favorite musician or only listen to your favorite musician or band? We'll just, we'll do it that way. So think of, oh, look, it says it's, it's telling me like ads are going to run. I'm just going to skip the ads. So this time it told me that the ads were running. I'm going to skip it. Um, it let me skip, like if I'm going to show you guys the ad, so I skipped it. Um, so this is interesting. So get in, get in your, in your mind frame of like who your favorite band or artist is actually put it in the comments, put it in the comments. Who's your favorite band or artist? We'll start there. And you could also at the same time just say your answer. So would you rather... Never listen to your favorite person ever again. And you can listen to any other music or only listen to that artist. That is a tough one. That is a tough one. Uh, 
Uh, Tracy says, yeah, I'll never work corporate again. No work-life balance. Yeah, exactly. All right. So Kat says all musicians. Rebecca says every musician. Music is so varied. Allison says, well, choose every musician. Tracy said, listen to other musicians. I like a variety. Z, listen to my favorite artist only. Who is your favorite artist, CE? Jim says, listen to them all. And I think that's what you would do too. Uh, Rebecca says, all music. Better flight. Every musician except my favorite, you are missing out on a world of music if you only listen to your favorite. Plus, you'd get sick of your favorite. Daily with Deb says all music. <coughs> Chill. Come here. Come here. Come on up. Come on. Come on. There we go. Also, say hi to Charlie. Whoa, relax. Okay, you're cut on my necklace. Chill. Chill. Okay. Okay, so uh, Daily Dub, all music. Uh, Eight Notorious says all and not one favorite. Kat says my favorites are mem are memorized. Oh, that's good. Uh, Rebecca says Mozart. Okay. Trace says I think you also would listen to others. Um... Insurance. Tom Petty. Interesting. Um, Noah says, Ario Speedwagon. Okay. Rose says, I've never been able to pick a favorite musician, so I guess I would listen to them all. Um, ZE says, Pede Monsanto is my favorite artist. I've never even heard that. Heard of that. Oh, Jonathan McReynolds, All Day, Every Day. That's a good one. Um, Journey says, Every Musician. My favorite musicians change so much, it's not worth keeping track. Skipper says, I have lots of favorites. Journey, I have so many favorites. Can't choose one to name. Tracy says, I can't pick a favorite musician. Subdue, uh, that's a tough question. It would have to be all musicians, I think. Van Morrison for me, but I vary a lot. Grant says, all musicians. Favorite band is Kiss, but there are plenty of bands that I love, so I have plenty to listen to. Uh, Rose says, one week, it's one person. The next week, it's a group. Interesting. What about you would choose all music except your favorite as well. Plus, would like to know your favorite. Um, <laughs> yes, that's Charlie. That's Charlie. Um, Lucy's in her little bed. Um, Nancy says, favorite only Nan Natalie Grant. Interesting. Uh, Kat says, Kat Stevens, Paul Simon, Van Morrison, Better Flight. Maybe Linkin Park right now is my favorite. Jim says, my favorite often changes. Uh, Better Flight says, or in sync. Awesome. So, this is a rough one for me because I love a lot of different music and I do have a lot of different favorites. Um, I'd say it would break my heart if I couldn't listen to my favorites or like, I don't know if I could pick like my one true favorite, but I would have to choose to listen to all music and not listen to my favorite because like you've been saying, all of you, it's like, there's so many artists. And even though I have like my top, you know, few, if one was missing, I would just have to be like, you know what? I'm just grateful that I got to hear that artist or band like in my life. And it's sad, but you know, I wouldn't want to miss out on like every other band or artist. Plus there's new people coming on the scene all the time. So um, Grant says, you'll choose all musicians. Yes. Uh, Jim says, in listening to them all, we may find a new favorite. That's true. So I would say like, <sighs> I'd say if I had like, oh man, I'd say I have four favorite like and this is, this is a broad, because there's so many different varieties of music, but I'd say like my four favorite artists, like singer wise, not personality. Cause I know some of you are going to come for me when I say one of these, but like, I would say, um, Chris Brown. I love his music. I'm sorry. I know he has had a lot of problems in his life and a lot of done a lot of bad things. So let's just say just music wise, I do love Chris Brown. Um, Tasha Cobbs, she's an, uh, a gospel artist that I love her voice. I love her music. 
Uh, another gospel artist is Travis Green. Love his music. Love it. And like probably my top favorite vocalist of all time is Stokely from the band Mint Condition. Best singer, hands down. So those would probably be my four favorites. Like if I had to like go through my like Apple music and it would tell me like which ones I listen to most, those would be the probably, you know, the ones and maybe Drake because I just like his stuff too. So that'd be really difficult if I had to like not listen to one of my favorites. But like you guys have said, there's so much music out there. And plus, I don't listen to as much music as I used to because I listen to a lot of podcasts and I watch a lot of YouTube and, you know, stuff like that. So life goes on. You know what I'm saying? Like there's too much awesomeness. And plus, you know, if you really think about it, if you only like listen to your one favorite and you decided that you aren't going to listen to other music, you could never really go to like, you know, a play or, or like an opera or like, I mean, let's not get too technical. You probably still watch movies and stuff, but you know, you couldn't go to concerts, <laughs> you know, there's things that you wouldn't be able to do because you wouldn't be able to break your, your thing, your rule or whatever. So yeah, I would have to just unfortunately skip out on one of my favorites. Um, Grandma D, I have to say Bob Seger is my all-time favorite, but I have to also say all artists because it would get so old after a while. Yeah, that's true. Uh, oh, and Michael Jackson is one of my favorites. So, oh, yeah. Lots of the old Michael Jackson stuff is awesome. If they become your new favorite, do you get your old favorite back? Ooh, that is a great point. Maybe. Kat says, well, I've never heard of your favorites. I know. I have a weird, like, a weird, uh, like, I love gospel music, and I know a lot of people aren't into, like, gospel music. So that's, like, my top music that I love. If I'm listening to something, it's probably gospel music. Um, so I know a lot of people don't don't go down that path of music. But Michelle says yes to all those. All right. I love it. Um, Rebecca says, Chris Brown is a great singer and I love to watch him dance. I would never watch TV or movies if I based it on the moral qualities of Hollywood. The Hollywood. That's, a, that's a very great point. Solid point. Rose says, I can't even choose a genre that I like best. Uh, Z says, Drake is very popular. Yes. Noah says, Metallica and the Rolling Stones are still going as well. Yes. Jim says, I really like the Newsboys and Petra. Better flight. Metallica in the early 90s were great. Uh, Robin says, I love me too. I love gospel music. Okay, I love it. I don't I don't really come across a lot of people that listen to gospel music, you know? So it's like exciting when I hear someone saying like they love gospel music. Cause like, you know, most of my favorite music is gospel. So <laughs> it's just I just love it. Better flight. Garth Brooks is up there for me as well. Ooh, okay. That's awesome. So this was super fun. Okay, so let's see what, let's just say um, this. So the consensus was that, um, oh, okay, this is weird. So the, like the people that were um, answering this on this app, 57% of them, 57% said they would listen to only their favorite musician and 43% said they would listen to every musician except for their favorite. That's interesting. So the consensus on this app was that people would just stick with their favorite. So I'm wondering who's answering this because, man, like maybe they're young, younger and they're just like, oh, I got to listen to like my favorite rapper or whatever like that. So who knows? But I just love a lot of variety of music. So I'd have to go in that direction. Um, it was, I like all different classical opera, classic rock, jazz, country, metal, some grunge. I agree with Rose. It's difficult to pick a single genre. Rose says, I love gospel, old Southern gospel, contemporary Christian classical. I love it. Um, I think a lot of preteens and young teens are answering these polls. I think so too, because it's like, I think the more mature you get, you know, your, your horizons expand, you know? Um, Grant says sticking with my favorite would get a little boring after a while. Variety is a spice of life. I could not agree more. Uh, they sound like prepubescent adolescents facts. 
I do like, like Madonna as well. She's up there for me. I used to like Madonna, but mm, not really anymore. But all right. Well, that was a very fun uh, thing. And I'm glad we did that. So we'll, we'll start playing more games on these live streams. And next Friday, um, I mean, we should be hitting 75K by then. Like, if you don't see the numbers ticking down and we don't hit 75K, we aren't going to do a snack extravaganza. But I'll post something on the community tab, um, you know, when we hit it. And so you'll know for next Friday. So I'm excited. So I'm going to line, try to line up some guests and see what we can do. So, yeah. So I'm excited about that. Um, I love music and the world would be the same without effects. That was fun. Fair enough. I like her voice and her songs from the 80s. Yeah, I, I like her older stuff for sure. God bless you all big time. Yes, God bless you guys all. Uh, yeah, if you're not a subscriber, you might as well hit the subscribe. Yay. All right. I love you guys very much. Please know that you are valued. You're loved. Make sure that you call a friend, call a family member, check in on each other. Make sure that you're, you know, showing love and showing care for each other because this world can be harsh and lonely. So make sure that you're coming out of your shell. If you're an introvert, try to extrovert yourself a little bit and just check on each other so that we can all just be happy and fulfilled. So I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you guys on the next live stream. Bye.